2 times 3 raised to the second power, minus 4 divided by 2, plus 1, plus 3 times 4. P numbers. P4 parentheses. That means multiplication. But that can also mean just focus on what's inside the parentheses. What the deuce? Yeah. Two parentheses, three. That just means two times three or six. Also, six minus parentheses, five minus two, close parentheses. All right, you're gonna look at what's inside the parentheses first. Take away two apples from five apples, you have three apples. And so, you have six minus three. Well, you already know what that is. You have six donuts, you eat three of them, you're left with three donuts. Yeah! E exponents. We've talked about this in the previous video, but here's a quick refresher. E is for exponents. In this memory device, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Exponents. E. And we talked about this in a previous video, but here's a quick refresher. Nine squared is the same thing as nine by nine. And you know how to do that. Get your Legos out. That's 81. Nine by nine is 81. Wow, that was sloppy. 81. There you go. 10 cubes. Well, that's just 10 by 10 by 10. You know how to do that. 10 tens. That's 100. And when you multiply by another 10, you're asking for what is 10 one hundredths. Well, it's built into the name. It's 1,000 10 one hundredths. So 10 cubed is 1,000. 10 cubed equals 1,000. Yeah! Give yourself a check mark. M is for multiplication. D is for division. A is for addition. S is for subtraction. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. P is for parentheses, so we're gonna address this guy first. What is two by three? It is simply six. And then you're gonna deal with the exponents. So six squared minus four divided by two plus one plus three by four. Hey, six squared, you know the answer to that. That's just 36. And now you can look at the M in multiplication. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, multiplication is next. What is the multiplication you're dealing with? Three by four. You already know the answer to that. Three by four, simply 12. So you've got 36 minus four divided by two, plus one, plus, hey, three fours, 12. Last but not least, you're gonna do division, addition, and subtraction in that order. And so you're gonna get 36 minus four divided by two. Hey, you know the answer to that. <laughs> four divided by two, there are only two twos inside of four. So, we are winding down here. Home stretch, pause, rewind, fast forward as you need to. 36 plus 1 plus 12. Last time I checked, that's still 49. <laughs> then you're going to subtract 2. So 49 take away 2 is 47. There's your answer, and Bob's your uncle. Hey, I'm Smiley Face Keenum. You've been watching Keenum Burrs. You can subscribe by pressing the big red button. And you can join the Greater Gators class if you have your mom, dad, or guardian go to the link below to watch full-length episodes. Whoa! See you next time. God bless. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. You're going to start with parentheses first. Look inside those parentheses at the far left. You got 4 minus 3, and over here you got 2 plus 1. So you know how to do that. 4 minus 3, hey, that's just 1. And then over here, 2 plus 1, hey, that's just 3. And then you're gonna continue with the exponent. Ah, ah, nope, let's make that black. You're gonna continue with the exponents. One cubed <laughs> divided by three minus three divided by nine. Well, the good news is one times one times one or one cubed is still just one. Did you catch that? Even with my sloppy handwriting? One times one times one, because that's what one cubed is. You still just have one. And then you're gonna carry on with multiplication, then division, and then addition, followed by subtraction. Well, 
Check it out. Three divided by nine. Hey, greatest common factor here is three. <gasps> That's great news. Whoosh, whoosh. There's no multiplication to be had here, so we're jumping straight to division. And the greatest common factor here being three means we're going to have a three left over here and a one right here. So what does this tantamount to? Or in other words, what is this equal to? This is simply one third minus a third. But any number minus itself is a big old whopping zero. Hey, you're done. Bob's your uncle. Press on. All right, welcome to the bonus section. We're going to look at how to use AI to assist you with your math learning.